Jessica now joins me live from New York. Jessica, very, very good to see you. And this book has made a, a huge impact. It made a massive impact. But it's only really recently that you've decided to tell everyone that it was based upon what happened to you. What, what changed your mind? Why, why did you decide to, to tell people that it was you? Well, the book has been out for about a year here in the States um, in hardcover, and it was coming out in paperback. Um, it came out just last month, and I was going on a pretty extensive book tour here in the States. And I was constantly asked by readers at events um, how I was able to depict um, Ani's sexual assault so graphically. And I'd been getting these questions for over a year, and I knew that on this tour, I would be answering these same questions every city um, I went to, and I wanted to be able to answer the question candidly um, and feel like I could have a, you know, a real dialogue with my readers about that. That makes perfect sense, makes perfect sense. Did you feel a sort of a sense of it unburdened, being unburdened by the fact that you could tell people what the story was based on? I feel unburdened. I, I don't, even when that question comes up now, I don't, you know, kind of scramble in my head for an answer because I know I can just speak the truth. But I also feel um, really strong about talking about this, which is something I never felt when I was younger. Um, 17 years ago when this happened to me, I did not feel strong. I did not have any support. Um, and, and that has completely changed. And it's a very empowering feeling to know that I've come out with this story and that I have so many people who love and support me um, and, and who have my back. No, that makes sense as well. And it was a horrific attack and you were, you were very, very young. Did it actually help you writing the book just to somehow deal with all of those feelings? Did it help you at all? I think it must have. I, I don't think I was doing anything consciously when mm. I sat down to write the book and, um, you know, that scene, I, I just ended up writing it. And I think part of the reason why um, I, I kind of based Ani's experience or it was inspired by what had happened to me, um, part of that had to do with the fact that for 17 years, I wasn't able to talk about this. Um, and I was told when I was younger that I wasn't to talk about this. Mm -hmm. And so I, it was something I really buried and never really dealt with. And I think writing about it was the first time I was able to use my own voice in talking about this time in my life. And that was something that I was able, never able to do when I was younger. Um, and so it was a, a, quite a cathartic experience. Yeah, I can appreciate that. Of course I can. Now, now the, the story is so powerful um, and, and reading it, it is very cinematic and it's no surprise that it's going to be made into a movie and it looks like Reese Witherspoon is going to either be producing, directing or starring in it. How, how do you feel about your story? Because it is your story is going to be on the screen. I'm thrilled. I, I feel like I'm in such great company. Um, Pacific Standard, which is Reese Witherspoon's production company, has um, produced some amazing films over the last couple of years. Um, you know, they did Wild, they did Gone Girl, and their goal was really to um, get behind projects that featured strong female narratives and strong female characters. Um, and and characters who have flaws and layers and are dynamic. And so for, for Reese to feel that Ani kind of fits that mold was incredibly flattering. No, I, I can imagine. And also very flattering for, for uh, I mean, Ani is the story of, Ani is the name of the girl in the book, of course, who overcomes so much. Um, mm -hmm. But to see that story up on the big screen, I think will actually help people because your, your book has helped a lot of people, hasn't it? You've had such a positive reaction. I'm shocked. I, I didn't think that the book or writing the essay um, about my own experience would be as far reaching as it, it has been. But on this tour, you know, at every event I've had in 18 cities, there has been at least one woman who has come up to me in tears and said, thank you for writing this and thank you for making me feel less alone. And 
it, it wasn't necessarily why I wrote the essay. I mean, I, I really wrote the essay because it was time for me to stand up for myself. I, I never stood up for myself when I was younger, and I needed to do that now. Um, and it was just kind of a, a bonus that all these women felt so supported and so connected to me um, in writing about my own experience. Um, and I, I never thought that I could you know, help somebody. And so to see that I have made an impact on people has just been incredibly humbling. Jessica, thank you very much indeed for talking to us from New York. And uh, The Luckiest Girl Alive is obviously available over here too. And it's an incredible read. Thank you very, very much indeed for joining us.